We once again this year will bring you profiles of some of the people who have succeeded after graduating from Bristol Community College. Time now for the first installment of Alumni in Your Community. Hi, I'm Arthur Paul and I'm a 1992 graduate of Bristol Community College. Uh, I grew up in uh, Westport and I went to Westport High School and when I was at Westport High School um, the counselors there always talked to us about the possibilities and the ad advantages of going to Bristol Community College. So um, unfortunately for me I couldn't go right after high school so I went back as an older student and did um, probably five years of nights before I did one year of days to finish my degree. What made me go to BCC was that I liked, uh, I took one class there just to get a feel for how the college worked and I really liked it and the thing that I liked the best about the college was the professors because they went out of your, their way to make sure that you were comfortable and they knew that I was a coming back student so I was older than most of the kids and they really took time to work with me and make sure that I fit into the college. So that was, it worked out perfect for me. Right out of high school, I uh, went to work uh, for a bank in Fall River and spent um, a good amount of time there, almost 20 years. And then from there, I went to two credit unions and since I've been doing marketing ever since. So I've spent the last 20 years just doing marketing. It really wasn't difficult for me to go back to school as a full-time student. Uh, nighttime, there were mostly older people, so I fit in pretty well. But when you switch to days and you're going with all of the younger students, I thought it was really going to be hard. But it wasn't because I was older than them, so I actually became a tutor to a lot of the students. And the professors looked to me to help some of the students as we were going through. So it worked out really good for me because the kids could appreciate me for my age and my business experience. So they kind of came to me for ideas and suggestions. So it really worked out well. I am married to my wife and uh, Elizabeth, and it's Betty actually. And uh, we live in Somerset. We've lived there just over 30 years. And I have a son who graduated um, Somerset High School as well. I did finish my, uh, got my associate's degree from BCC and went through the graduation and all of that and I was really glad that I did because two years later I graduated from UMass Dartmouth and the day of my graduation from UMass Dartmouth was my son's high school graduation. So I couldn't go to my own graduation from UMass because I had to go to my son's graduation. One of the good things that the Alumni Association did and still does is every year when they send out their solicitation letters they give you the opportunity to volunteer on committees and stuff and um, they were looking for some help with marketing and since marketing is what I was doing I volunteered to help with some of their marketing challenges and since then I've stayed with them I've gone through all of the chairs in the Alumni Association did a couple of years on the foundation and now I'm on my eighth year as a member of the Board of Trustees of the college. As a trustee for the college, I actually was voted in by the alumni. So when I go to a trustees meeting as an alumni, I can speak for the alumni and tell the rest of the trustees how they feel or how the students are feeling about the campus and what's going on. Because even though I'm no longer a student, I still am often on campus just meeting with other faculty and some of the students at times and so you get a sense of what's going on. We also have a student representative and they help us as well. So and we have two other board members who are also alumni. So the alumni are really represented on the board of trustees. It's not a requirement that you be an alum to be a, a trustee but I was elected by the alumni to represent them. Uh, I currently work for People's Credit Union, which is located in um, several, t uh, six towns in Rhode Island. And our main office is Middletown, which is where I work, and I do the marketing uh, for the institution, which involves not just print ads, but everything from radio, writing the scripts, designing the stuff uh, that needs to go into print, and writing some TV commercials as well. 
I think one of the uh, things that as a trustee and, and in all of the involvement I'd have with the college, sure. the thing that always sticks out to me, and I think um, Dr. Sprague does it best with his graphs, is if you look what it costs to go to BCC and compare that to other schools, the cost is astronomically less expensive to go to BCC. And what we tell the students and what I always tell them is, your first two years you go to BCC and you get your foundation. From there you move on and you're gonna go somewhere else and that's where you'll graduate from. When you go for a job, nobody asks you, where did you do your first two years and where did you do your second two years? It's where did you graduate from? One of the things that really sticks out when you think of BCC is the education you get. Because the classrooms are much smaller in size, you really get a much better education than you can at some of the higher schools that have bigger populations. Their classroom size is so small that you don't run into a class where you're taking in an auditorium with 200 people and they don't even know who you are. So the quality of education and the professors who are willing to go way beyond what they're expected to do is uh, unbelievable at Bristol Community College.